the Bible presents what seems like a paradox regarding our worth before God. On one hand, Jesus tells us, we are worthless servants, Luke 17, 10. Yet the Apostle Paul declares that we are his workmanship, Ephesians 2, 10. How can both statements be true? How can we be worthless yet a divine workmanship? This paradox gets to the heart of the gospel and our relationship to God as Christians. An understanding of our sin and God's grace reveals the profound truth in both statements. Worthless servants. When Jesus calls us worthless servants, he is reminding us that we have no merit before God on our own. All that we are able to do in obedience to God is simply our duty as created beings before our Creator. We can take no credit, no boasting in our spiritual accomplishments. Apart from Christ, our good works are ultimately like filthy rags. Isaiah 64, 6. We are debtors who can never repay what we owe God. Luke 7, 42. In and of ourselves, we are spiritually worthless and bankrupt before our holy God. This is the bad news that makes the good news so sweet. His workmanship. And yet, because of God's lavish grace through Christ, those who were once dead in trespasses and sins have been made spiritually alive. Ephesians 2, 1 to 5. We who are worthless have been recreated as God's workmanship or masterpiece. Our worth and value is not inherent, but is derived from what Christ has done for us. We are God's recreated workmanship, his poema or work of art, as the Greek word suggests. Our worth flows from being united to Christ by faith. Humble boasting, so as Christians, with humility we boast only in Christ and his cross, Galatians 6, 14. We have no grounds for pride in ourselves, but every reason to humbly boast in what God has done for unworthy sinners like us. We are indeed worthless servants who can claim no merit before God. And yet, by His grace, we are His masterful workmanship, recreated for good works that glorify Him, Ephesians 2.10. Our worth is derived from being united to Christ, the supremely worthy one. This paradox humbles us before God as we rest in His grace alone for our value and acceptance. We are worthless made worthy, servants remade as His masterpiece. Thanks be to God. The Parable of the Master Potter There was once a master potter whose skill and artistry were unmatched in all the land. His pottery was prized by kings and commoners alike for its exquisite beauty and craftsmanship. One day the master set out to create his finest work yet, a magnificent vase that would be a testament to his abilities. He carefully selected the finest clay, kneading and shaping it with his skilled hands until it took the form he envisioned. He then adorned the vase with intricate carvings and glazed it with vibrant colors that shimmered like jewels in the light. After firing it in the intense heat of the kiln, the vase emerged as a breathtaking masterpiece. The master potter stepped back to admire his handiwork, filled with pride at what he had created. Just then, one of his lowly servants approached, carrying a tray of refreshments. Upon seeing the magnificent vase, the servant gasped in awe. Master, that vase is the most wondrous thing I have ever beheld. Surely it must be worth a king's ransom, the servant exclaimed. The master potter considered the servant's words for a moment before responding. This vase is indeed a work of great beauty and value, fashioned by my own hands with utmost care and skill. And yet, without me, the potter, it would be nothing more than a shapeless lump of clay. In the same way, the master continued. You are my workmanship, skillfully formed by my hands for a special purpose. Like this vase, you have been shaped, adorned, and fired in the kiln of life's experiences to bring out your unique beauty and purpose. However, never forget that apart from me, you are but dust. Your true worth comes not from your own merits, but from the one who lovingly created and formed you. You are priceless in my sight, Yet you must remain humble, for you are also my servant, called to honor and obey me in all things. The servant bowed his head, suddenly understanding the paradox. Though worthless in himself, he was also a priceless work of art in the eyes of the master potter. From that day on, he served with a joyful heart, finding purpose in his humble role while marveling at the grace of the one who had formed him.